Good day, good day, and welcome to Scorch. I only know a little bit about this. It's a investigation, casual sort of investigation game. You know, what would be better than explaining it? Just showing it. So let's get straight into it. Why am I stalling? I'm not stalling. Who said I'm stalling? Let's go. Loading. Take your time. Nobody's home. Hello, hello. Good morning, Gary. Hey, Chief. I'm not How are Gary. You? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Sounds like you're sober this time around. At least you're not slurring like last I, week. I yeah, don't drink. Well, what happened last week was quite unfortunate. But at least the party was amazing, huh? Very funny, Gary. Listen, you know that this case is your last chance to prove yourself. Hmm, sure. So, what happened here? A man. Mike Hill was found burned to death in his shed. We want you to take a look at the crime scene. Mm, yeah. I know it's not easy to solve this case in one day, but you've done it before. I believe in you, so don't believe. Me. Yeah, I'll do my best. Just have to believe. I'll be back in a second. I think my cat wants to get out of my room. Good morning out. Alright. Cheeky cat. I've got a cat by the way. Several cats. Some of them are about 17 years old, so that's quite old for a cat. D did the sound go? Is there sound? So we use, do we use was? Yes we do. Is there subtitles? There we go. Back to game. What have we got on our hands this time? Well I have no idea. All I know is that it's an investigation game. There goes a birdie. Nice somber music. Am I meant to be picking things up? Am I missing things? It's a bin. Who are you and what do you do with the... That newspaper. But the bin. Which one should I pay attention to? Forest Ranger perished in deadly fire. Well, the fire did it. Beaverton... Beaverton? Citizens in turmoil against Beaverton. Mike Hill, Cross, 43. A forest ranger in Twilatin Hills National Park died in a terrible fire. Hill's body was found inside a small shed near a forest ranger's cabin. The local officials suspect murder. It's bloody murder, mate. Yesterday at 4 p.m., nearby job reports seeing smoke, called fire department. Soon after, a local police department was also alarmed. The local police is currently investigating the, this tragic event. Who or what has caused the fire? Officials suspect that it may have been a murder. Yeah, we've heard about that. One police detective is looking into this. A similar fire happened 30 years ago when the Parker family perished and the only youngest child, Jay Parker, survived. He might be the culprit. The culprit was never found. The child did it. It was the child. He's the guilty one. As the same person struck again, our condolences go out. Condolences. Condolences. Slow down. Go out to Hill's family and friends. Radio. It seems that someone has forgotten today's newspaper here. It's the bin. The bin did it. That's what I was going to say. Tab. Click on evidence to inspect it. Inspect. It's today's newspaper. Alright. I expect this to be in one go, so I'll try to record it all the way through. This is a casual game, I expect. There's a... looks like a bottle of barbecue sauce or something. 
Well, what have we got here? Gasoline can, and it's almost empty. I can see that. Inspect evidence with our phone. It's almost empty. Rightio, I get it. Nothing getting by these keen eyes. I see everything. It's a hammer. An axe. I knew that. Don't mind me, I'm just mistaking things for other things. It's a sharp axe too. Watch out for those fingers of yours. Don't want them to be chopped off. Am I slurring my words? I'll try not to. I might have to slow down a bit. Beaverton Ranger Station. Twilighty National Forest. Wood? Not evidence. Time for a break and enter. Okay, you do that. I don't even have to hold handles these days. How did this base break? But Mars. And why is it still lying here? Uh, I don't know. I don't waste my time with this. Close that. These boots got anything to do with it? It's a map. I need it. Yeah, this might come in handy later on. Well... Broken vase. How did it break? I don't know. Yeah, this might come in handy later on. Ooh. A rifle. Can I turn the light on? Now it's slightly brighter. Hmm, excuse me, I think the phone is ringing. Not my phone. What are you? Cytoxin. Hmm, cytoxin. Chemotherapy. Isn't that some kind of chemotherapy pills? pill? Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth as I was saying them. Inspect. Medication. Chemotherapy pills. Wait a minute, that's for cancer, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, I think that's cancer. I think these coffee mugs were just recently used. Yeah, I'm... P for personal use. Recently used? Yeah, probably by me. Oh, is it matchstick? It's on... Hmm. Why is there a matchbox lying here? I don't know. Why are you asking me? It's almost full. Two are missing. Is there something going on in my computer? It keeps making a noise whenever I record. I don't know if it picks up. It's a toy. From Jason for my... Jason. Jason who? Yeah, that's kind of odd. Why is that ribbon on it? It's a present! That's why! Trying to hold in sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze. There's no way I'm going to sneeze. You're not going to make me sneeze. Bit of dirt on my fingers. Can't play with a dirty hand. Dirty dishes. No, nope, that's triggering my OCD. Can't have that. They're not stacked neatly either. I hate it when they're not done neatly. Any more evidence? Can I crouch? Oh, I can. No, I don't need to teabag it. No, don't close. What mysteries lie within? Eggs. Beer. And... Whatever that is. Oh, I'm sure it won't mind. Yeah, you're just taking it. Yeah, that's enough. I'm not an alcoholic. Uh... You drank it. Drank it. No! That's better. I don't know if that would give me copyright or not. The phone will be the last thing. Ellie. Jason is what I'm thinking of. Jason, Ellie, Mike, or whatever his face. No, Mike was the one that died. What's in the bathroom? So, you did it. You're the guilty one. Antidepressants. I wonder what led the victim to take antidepressants. I don't know. I used to take them, and I came off them, and it was all trippy, and doors were moving, and it, there was blue flashing lights. It was, just, it was weird. It was really weird coming off them. You know, you'd have stationary objects, right? They're stationary. They're not meant to be morphing and warping around. But they were just going all weird ways. Toilet paper is guilty. 
I had to come with a depressant antidepressants because I went on to bipolar medication. It makes me more centered, I guess you could say. I'm trying to figure out. No, it's locked. So we've got to go, 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 go to the phone. What's the answering machine got to say? You have three new messages. Hey Mike, how are you? I know that you saw us. I was just wondering if we could talk. Just don't do anything rushed, please. Okay. Hello Michael, it's Jason from Mountainside High School. Do you remember me? It's been forever. Anyway, I just wanted to see how you are. Maybe I could swing by tomorrow. Jason. Mike, it's me again. You better not snoop around anymore. You won't find out anything anyways. Just keep to yourself, Hill. I've got a lot to lose here. That woman, whoever she is, got Jason to kill him. That's what I'm guessing. Can I go in now? Can I kick it down? No. Pictures. The same pictures. Who's Mike? Tuck it sneeze. Hold it in. Crouch that. Alright, better. Ooh, we can open the drawers. Don't want to miss evidence. Oh, it's the bed. Oh, I wasn't done with that. Oh, okay. I can't find anything in there. Nothing in you. Key. I found a key. What I here. A key. Yes, you can sound more impressed by that. It was a tremendous find. I can't believe you're not impressed. The utensils are so messy. We have more tidied up where I am. What's the thermos doing here? Alright. Into the room we go. I suspect Jason. It's another room with broken action here. This thing is ancient. Pick it up, Gonzalez. Yeah, what's up, darling? Watch your tongue. You're on thin ice, Price. Anyway, we just got the autopsy Someone's report. Someone's a bit testy. Are you listening? Yeah, go for it. Hill's body was doused in gasoline from head to toe. We know he was burned alive because we found carbon monoxide in his lungs. Forensics identified a wound on his head which presumably rendered him unconscious. Hmm, okay. The vase. He'll have traces of antidepressant medication in his system. Right, that's good to know. Yeah. And what was the last thing he consumed? Socks. Nothing special. Lasagna and coffee. Interesting. Well, I better get going. Solving crimes and stuff. I would hope so. I still suspect Jason. Jason, I suspect you. Anything down here? Underwear is a bit of evidence. Oh, it's a book. Jason Parker, you're going to regret this. There's something going on with Jason. I'm suspecting Jason. Who else is suspecting Jason at this point? Because I'm suspecting Jason. My suspicions have been raised. This looks like an old high school memory. It's from 1986. I wasn't around back then. How do I access the f That's it. It says stuff. Why did Mark need them? I don't know. Why not close that? This looks ancient. We got a bit of evidence. Gary Price. Nah. It's from 1986. I get it. Reunion. Class of 91. Call Gonzalez from your phone when you're ready. Why would I do that? Come and catch up with the old friends. Now why would Mike put this in the bin? Because he doesn't want to meet up with his friend. Maybe he's scared of them. Maybe there's something going on. Call Gonzalez. Why am I... How do I... 
key? Underwear? There's a card. Business card. It's Mike's therapist. Seems to be Mike's ther therapist. Yeah. Have you found all the others? No. It's way too quick. Oh. Wrong password. Bugger. What could it be, and why haven't we found it? Is it a notepad? Turn the line on. We need to brighten this situation. Can I get closer? One, two, three, four. Now what is this? Some sort of secret password? Yeah, I think it is. I think I'm having a reaction to something as well. Just have a look at the past possible password for a moment. I just need to sort myself out. Alright. I'm back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Bingo. Regarding earlier. Alright, so I couldn't reach you on the phone. First off, let me remind you... Remind... Remind me. Let me remind me. Of your position, I could fire you. Okay, I'm reminding myself I could fire that person. Why? Anytime... Oh, I could fire you anytime. Don't do anything rash. You could... Should consider your options. This isn't as simple as you think. This is none of your business, but you should know that I never hurt anyone. Susan... Hi, Mike. I just wanted to remind you that we changed schedules. Your turn on the watchtower is on Saturdays now. Please don't forget like you did last time. Just heads up. Susan. Reunion pictures. They look a bit sickly. Hey, Mike. It's Jessica again. We meet you at the party. May well, maybe we'll see you next time. Jason seemed like he wanted to tell you something. Anyway, I attached a photo of us. Hope you're well. Oh, yeah. Susan and Jason. Oh yeah, that was the picture. Hey Mike, I just wanted to inform you that it's time to get rid of that old rifle of yours. I know you've become quite attached, just the two of you, and all. But it's really time to get a new one, regulations and all. Don't set the forest on fire, Kyle. Okay, Kyle. Kyle, Susan, and Jason. October 6th, save the date for former student. We're all get getting together for a reunion, Mike. I hope you've do been doing well in your little hut up there. Jason will be there too. Maybe the two of you could finally make amends. Anyway, I hope you're well, Jessica. It's all pointing towards Jason. Available for a living time only. This lunchbox is out of this world. Sturdy and reliable. I bet saying that the... What you call it? Kyle saying don't set a fire or anything is just a red herring to make us think that he did it, and Susan saying that whatever she said, consider your options in that, she doesn't have a motive. It's Jason that seems to have a motive. Available for a limited time only, this lunchbox is out of this world. Sturdy and reliable, people are actually losing their minds. Hello, is anyone there? Yes, hello? Anybody there? Is anybody listening? Has anybody made it this far? If you have, hello. How are you doing? Nice day, isn't it? I hope you're well. Let's log out. I'm still looking at the ground. I still believe it's Jason. It's all... Is it getting darker? It's all pointing towards Jason. Can we move further around? Or is that it? Is this as far as I can go? Oh, let's see. There might be something out here. Is there a watchtower? Yes, there is. 
I haven't gathered all the evidence yet. Maybe there's some DNA I can... Ooh, but... I thought there was something coming to get me then. Creepy. There's more birdies. Let's watch them fly along and the leaves fall. It's nice and serene. Is there something in the log? No. Is there something up here? Okay, awkward. Evidence? Section C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watchtower. Watchtower. What is this about? Everywhere. Section C. Oh, comments. Susan inspecting my area. She bought a bigger bag. Susan shouted at me again. Couple taking morning walk. Susan inspected again. Overslept, sorry, gonna make me extra long shift. What's Susan doing at night in my section? Hey look, why is there a mushroom plantation I've never seen before? First school week equals school children dropping garbage everywhere. Now it's clean to do. Susan inspects my area again. She's collecting those weird mushrooms. I think she's seen me as well. She didn't come to shout at me. Suspicious. I still think that it's a red herring. Hmm. Mike wrote down everything he observed. I wonder. What did he observe with those? Not gonna let me observe? He wrote down everything, yes, he did. What did he- I'll look through these to see. Nope, there's nothing inside them. I can't figure out what's going on here. I'm still tossing it out between Susan and Jason. Did Susan do it? Did Jason do it? I don't know, it could be either one of them. We'll find out eventually. I still think it's Jason, but Susan's starting to become more suspicious. That's all the evidence I can gather at the moment. What would you choose if you were in this position? With all the evidence that we gathered so far, I'm not sure if I can find any more evidence. Is the evidence substantial enough to actually... The thing with Jason bearing a grudge could also be a red herring. I... Don't think I want to be calling anyone yet, but there's not much more I can do. I have... I was about to fall off. I don't think there's anything there. There's mushrooms. We can't pick them up. I think that's all we can gather up to this point. Oh, they were just birds. No, I don't think there's anything more. Hmm. Well... In that case, it seems like... Hello. Hello, Price. Haven't heard from you in a while. I've got everything under control here, alright? It seems like you're having trouble getting on your feet. I stuck my neck out for you. You could at least try. That was a one-time thing, Gonzalez. Why can't you just let it go? Because it's not right. You have responsibilities, Price. You can't come to work drunk and expect everything to be okay. Look, I... I was supposed to fire you immediately. But I respect you, Price. You're a good officer. You respect him. So please don't make me regret my decision. Alright, okay. Just let me go do my job. Alright, with the evidence we've got, there's suspicions about Susan, but there's no motive. There's a motive for Jason. He has a grudge. I'm leaning towards Jason. It'll probably be answered for me anyway, so it wouldn't really matter now, would it? Well... That's it. Let's find out. It all seems like Jason. But there's evidence about Susan being all weird in that. She was on mushrooms, she might have been drugs or something. Did I miss it? I'm ready. It's Gary. 
I think I've got the crime solved. Are you sure? If you accuse the wrong person, there is no going back. Yes, I'm sure. I know who killed Mike Hill. Then let's sure hear you it. do. First question. Did you find out how Mike died? Yeah, he was burnt. Hang on, I've got to get these in the right order. Right order. Okay, I see. But what happened in the hours before the murder? Oh, God. The hours before the murder. The hours before the murder, logbook, yearbook, not a newspaper, right? I'm not convinced yet. Who do you suspect to be the murderer? I'll probably get it wrong, but whatever. I see. But, well, tell me, what did you find out about the victim's past? Therapy card. That's a business card, isn't it? Let's see. Antidepressant. Let's try that. I think there's more to it. What did you find out about the murderer's past? The murder is passed. Oh, I've used it up. Action figure. Broken action figure. Why is the music playing? The connections you're drawing today seem random at best, but come back to the police station first. We'll have a closer look into it. Yeah, we'll do that. That seems to be the best bet right now. I don't know what I could have done with the evidence there. I've got the evidence, but I'm not sure what to make of it. Can I run? Oh, I can run. How far do I have to run? I've still got a bit of evidence left over, but that wasn't from the past. I got everything I could, right? There was nothing left? Nothing at all? Millican way. More like, I really can't go that way. Go back to the police station. Did I get enough evidence? Listen, Chief, I really didn't want to do it. I had my reasons. I mean, yeah, sure, I picked on him at school, but that was just teasing. It's not the same thing as losing your family. You know, I took therapy for years. I learned to cope, but then I got cancer. It's like I'm being punished for something. At least that's how I felt. I thought about my past and remembered the kid I bullied in school. I figured I'd make amends. Back so again? I came by and gave him a visit. When he brought it up, I just knew. After all these years, it was him. I just lost it. I couldn't think straight anymore. It was, was like right. I was in a trance. So I picked up a vase, and I kept hitting him, and hitting him until he was lying on the floor. Once I realized what I'd done, I decided to destroy the evidence. I took his body to the shed and set it on fire. I regret it now. Out of everyone, I should know best that death is permanent. 
A 2 out of 5, that's alright. We got a passing score. At least I hope that's a passing score. Be very fair. We missed some evidence. Oh. Well, you didn't hit the nail on the head. But you've helped to solve the case. I'll give you another chance. We got another chance. And if that's an, isn't that the best result to have? Well, we got it sorted, right? We missed some evidence. Can I do anything? I guess not. Well, that's it. That's the game. That was an interesting game. It didn't take long. It was fun, I guess. Nice casual walk around. Nice and relaxing. It didn't take much brain. Not much thought-provoking power. Didn't take much. It was nice and a nice relaxing experience through and through. But if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. If you really want to do, why not subscribe? With that said, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. And be sure to tune in next time. Cheerio. Just thought I'd put the credits in here. So we'd actually, we can actually credit those who made the game. I forgot how to get to the credits. Well, I didn't forget, I didn't know. So here they are. I don't know how long they go for. But if it suddenly cuts out, then cheerio. Enjoy. Oh, there's another area I could have gone to. I should have paid more attention to the map. But I was right to have reservations about Jason. I was right to have suspicions about Jason. It was Jason all along. I knew it. I just couldn't put the evidence together right. That was all. Apart from that... That was it. Oh, I press enter to skip, but I don't want to skip the credits. I want these people to be credited with what they've made. But again, if it just cuts out, then cheerio. I think that's it. Oh, we're back to the title screen. Alright. Well, now that I can get my thoughts together properly, that was a decent game. It had all the elements of a game there. You walk around, you pick stuff up, you solve something. It worked out. For a free-to-play game, it's definitely worth, you know, experiencing it. If you want to find it, it's on Steam, in the free-to-play section. You might have to type Scorch in to find it. You might have some trouble, depending on how many games of Scorch there are. I'm not sure how to leave a link, so I'm sorry about that. But apart from that, that's all I've got to say. So cheerio!